Listen, save, share this video, whatever you got to do to thumbnail this video for later. I need y'all to listen to why this lady daughter was expelled from school. Before we get into the story, her name is Manny. Now, Manny is the mother of the daughter, Bailey, that was expelled from school. Now, she goes on a six-part story time. Now, I did brief up a couple of these parts because they were pretty long, but I kind of like compiled as many of them together as possible to get at least a gist of what's going on. But she pretty much went on a, a pretty long story time of what happened in the, in the fight that her and her daughter is currently going through with the school. Now listen, before we get into this, make sure you guys go over there and follow her, all right, for more updates. She is doing more updates. This video, this update that she did is not currently in this thread because I want you guys to go over there to get more updates. Now for the rest of y'all, let's get into this video. Make sure y'all watch it to the end and let me know what y'all think. Hey guys, I'm Mandy. This is Bailey. Um, I'm going reaching out this way because lots of people have messaged us and are reaching out to us wanting to know about today wanting to know about bailey and her story and everything going on with her being placed in alternative, alternative school. school so i'm gonna try to keep it as brief as i can and we might have to make multiple parts so back in the beginning of july, yeah, july bailey second. made a tiktok on her real tiktok that said the man in the woods in the background and it named four, four girls girlies yep. that were responsible for killing her best friend that tiktok was up for a couple days i saw comments were getting out of hand on it i made her take it down not that i thought that that tiktok was wrong because that's bailey's truth she witnessed lots of things seen lots of things and was there for several instances that happened to aubrey and that's her truth she's allowed to speak it and i allow her to do that but i told her i didn't want that video to be used against her okay. or the comments so i had her take it down a few days later i get a call from the school saying a parent informed them of bailey's TikToks and asked us to come in and have a chat about them, that Bailey was going to receive discipline if she made the video that they were talking about. I asked them what video they referred to the man in the woods. I assumed they were talking about a video from Bailey's account. Yeah. So a couple of days go by, I don't hear anything. I call the school back principal's gone on vacation so I wait and I wait some more it's like what July 12th now? and then I'm not sure I'm not going to give exact dates right now because I'm not looking at my timeline I don't want to get anything wrong okay. so time has passed and we finally get a meeting to come in to the school yes. it's us my husband and the school counselor, a school counselor maybe, and one administrator. We go in, they explain to us they have a video, and in the video, there's comments of other people saying threats, saying threats to those kids. And we'll start at part two after this. So we're at this meeting, they're telling us they have this video. And they showed it to us. They showed it to us. And it's Bailey's face. Yeah. Bailey's name. And someone sharing her video. But it's not from Bailey's TikTok. It's from a Bailey69. I don't know. We don't know the exact... Um, they just video. showed us, like, on their phone. Yeah. And it was just a different But it was watermark. not Bailey's account. Different watermark. Also, different comments. Same types of comments. But completely different. But completely different. So, we explained to them that it was not her TikTok. I went through 2,000 of my comments, screenshotted every single thing that I replied, commented, or liked on it. Yes, it took us a long time. Yeah, that was not fun. So, we told them that is not it. Bailey showed from her phone her real TikTok. They looked at each other, realized that that wasn't the same thing. Mm -hmm told us they would let us know if they needed to 
call us for anything else or if this went any further. So I assume, since they realized that they had the wrong TikTok, that this was over. That it was over. And apparently, it wasn't. We were under the assumption that it was. We went on about our life. Still a little aggravated because I felt like they should have did a little bit better investigating before they hauled us in there or got me all worked up, made me wait and all this stuff and threatened her to be in trouble over not even investigating to even see if it was really her actual TikTok account. So we get a call again in the next few days telling us that they are going forward with their investigation and that there will be a disciplinary hearing with all the administrators and the whole discipline committee. And their lawyer. Yes, and their, well, their lawyer was invited because I told them we were hiring an attorney, which we did. And she's amazing. Because this is wrong. First of all, they did not show us at any point any proof that that this was was Bailey. Like, there was no proof that it come from my home or my child's phone number. Like, they they are just saying that this Bailey 69 they think belongs to her. They think that it came from her or it used to be her TikTok and now it isn't or something. So... That wasn't enough proof to me to accuse her. At all. And it was a completely different and weird username using weird underscores and periods in it. I don't know. Because you can't have the exact same TikTok as somebody. That's just not right. how it works. But also, that TikTok obviously doesn't exist anymore. And I want to because say... Because reported it so many I times. I want to say even we have reported that. Bailey gets fake accounts made on her all the time. I have to report them several times a week sometimes. Several times a day. Like, there are so many fake accounts. All you can do is report them and, like, hope TikTok takes them down. Or sometimes Bailey will share, hey, guys, this isn't me. You know, spam this account. We've had to do that before. So, as this continued... People continued bullying in, like, comments. And after the school made us, like, aware of they were going to start holding Bailey accountable for what other people were saying in their TikToks, Bailey made a video asking her followers to please not bully any of the bullies. This was before any of the meetings were held, before the first one or before the second one that we have done. Right after that whole TikTok blew up, I deleted it. Also... That was whenever people were going around doing things to the bullies or, like, doing crazy stuff to the bullies or saying stuff to the bullies. And there was, like, weird pop-ups on Google saying that they were hurt and stuff. Yeah, so... So, Sorry. No, you're fine. I had made a TikTok saying that um, I don't support, like, what was happening right now. I don't support the things that they are saying about this girl. And that I don't condone death threats and I'm about positivity. And... I don't try to say anything to hurt or harm anybody right. in any time. We don't want that. We want justice for Aubrey, not revenge. Uh, that's yeah. th- that's just not okay. They are kids too, and they don't deserve to be bullied. Yeah. So, we explained that to the school, like, you know, and told them Bailey even put out this post for people not to no longer do that on her feed and that we were paying better attention to it and that, you know, sometimes I make her turn even comments off if I see or take a video down if I see people are getting out of hand in comments. That's all I can do. But I cannot control what other people and other people's kids say on the internet. I just can't. I can only, it's a lot for me. I have four children. So... In the second meeting, we're sitting there. This is called the disciplinary committee meeting of sorts. Um, It's supposed to be not formal. Um, It was not on record or anything. Um, Our lawyer was there. All of us were there. And the administrators were there. Like, four of them. And some, like, media guy for the school who put the fake Bailey account video up there on a big TV for everyone to see, let them watch it. 
and then read comments off of the fake video account. Off of a piece of paper. Off of a piece of paper they printed Which out. Which could have been photoshopped. I, I have no clue we don't because know. they didn't share copies of that with us. So I explained to them that that was not Bailey. And their explanation to that was they believe it was Bailey and she just changed her TikTok name around July 2nd or so. And that used to be her. And I explained to him that that was not true. It was not Bailey. She did not make any comments that someone took her video, posted it, and that is their comments. They chose not to believe that. They think because they pressed that video and it brings them to, to Bailey's real account and other accounts relevant to her, which that's kind of how TikTok works and how algorithms work. Also, yeah. I'm sure he was searching her in his little investigation. So when you search someone, it's always going to bring you back to who you were looking for when you start searching again. Um, I'm not like a tech genius or anything, yeah. but I went home after that meeting and did it myself for several other accounts that I knew or people yeah. were like as popular probably in subject that I knew there was lots of videos and fake videos made and similar videos. And it brought you straight to the person. And it brought you straight to the person it was about and other videos related to them. So to me, that wasn't like showing me proof. And that was making me very furious because I just wanted some kind of real proof proven that they thought that was my child, which we were not given. We also offered for them to see the real TikTok from Bailey's TikTok that was taken down. I saved it on my phone and we have every screenshot of every comment. We went through all 2000 of them. They had no interest in seeing the real video. They did not let us put it up on the big screen. I offered twice in that meeting. I thought it was weird that they had no interest in that and type this. And we have another appeal hearing with the central office on Thursday. And we're hoping that they will overturn it, but I'm not hopeful for that. So we also filed an injunction on the school. And the type we filed that includes a minor, you do not have to inform the other party. And I just found it kind of shady that we were at the courthouse no longer than maybe 10 minutes and someone had already notified the school in the county clerk's office and told them what we were doing because their lawyer sent us an email saying, I know what you're doing and I want a copy of it. But what we were doing, we were legally not obligated to tell them. So the whole time of them not giving Bailey like the proper process and going by the right protocols for things and informing us on the right things. They also gave us the wrong emails to file appeals that was typoed or I don't know how they want to put it, but when you file an appeal, you have to, you know, email them your answer and all these things through your lawyers. And when we were given that information, it had the wrong email address on it, which I thought was weird too. So my lawyer spent half a day sending emails to an address that didn't even work. And so that was frustrating. So all of it just seems a little shady. The way they go about things, the way they've done things. We were very patient. We've been silent for over a month now. I have given them plenty of chances to redeem themselves, to look at real proof, to take her word for it. They have chose not to do that. So I have no other choice but to come out with this. But to speak out because I just feel like they are gonna do what they wanna do because they can. And in their boardroom, what they say and what they want to do and how they want to make their policies fit whatever they're doing works. And in a court of law, it doesn't exactly work that way. So that's the route we're having to go. And I'm hoping for some justice that way. But I also hope that by doing this and explaining everything to y'all that now you know and you don't have to speculate or, you know, 
I don't want a bunch of misinformation out there is why we're doing it this way. We love the people that are out there and that are supporting Bailey and me. You sent us such nice things. Um, if this keeps going forward and we have to keep appealing this in a court of law, we will, you know, I know a lot of you have a court of law. We will, you know, I know a lot of you have reached out to me about a GoFundMe for Bailey. They know our situation. We're not a rich family. We are a family of one and a half income and six people. So we definitely will look into that if this has to go further. I wouldn't want for that, Absolutely. but I love so much that you guys have reached out and said that you would even do that is very touching or the fact that you even care enough to feel as outraged as i am about how she's being treated by the school and the district um because it's not okay it's not okay to do that to kids i feel like the worser of the people involved in some of these accidents that have happened in these events that have happened have not even gotten as much discipline and handled the way that this is being handled and it's absolutely disgusting to me especially without proof like you need to come if you're gonna come at her this hard please have proof get an I IP mean, address like get an IP address show the a date stamp show it come from my house prove that my daughter did not or said it said it you know, like you have to prove. You can't just say to me, "Oh, this Show video." Us some screenshots off of her right. Paper. I'm not gonna just take your screenshots for it. And you shouldn't discipline a child on this level based off of screenshots that some parent sent you. Like, that's not okay. Okay. Like, I just, I feel very strongly about that. And I didn't want everybody out there making their own stories about it. So this is where we're at. Discipline well, as far as they did. Like literally Sorry, that's my one, husband. one step below just flat out expelling her. Yes, this is like a very high level of suspension. I only ever heard of one year in expulsion past this. So this is extreme, um, especially for something they had no real proof of. So thank you guys so much for all the support. Um, now, I don't know about y'all, but I was taking notes and uh yeah i'm trying to answer a few questions myself now my thing is this i feel like bailey did post a video now she posted the original video that her mom is not denying that i think her mom is more frustrated with the fact that bailey posted the video but she also took it down and the school had you know still disciplined her for the fact that the video was still in existence because they thought that she was the one who posted pretty much now, I noticed y'all watched the whole video and you may, you may have noticed that I skipped part four because part four was actually like part two. It was like the same video re-uploaded with part four. In it. Now, I could be wrong, but when I was listening to the first like half of that video, I was getting the same like actual video that I saw in part two. So I was like, uh, maybe part four is just accidentally posted as part four. So I left that part out. And if you see that she was talking and it kept skipping in the video, that's how they uploaded it. Uh, we just upload it. It was it's kind of stopped at weird parts in the video, but I think we all got the gist. So my question to y'all is, do y'all feel like they have a case in this situation? Because although Bailey might have not meant any harm when she made the video originally, the video did have some negative impacts on children that was in the school. Now, whether it was justified or not, whether they did it or not, whatever the case may be, those kids are still in school. So we can't just assume that these are criminals because of a video that was made by Bailey. Now, also, this is not to take shots at Bailey. You have the freedom to speak on anything you feel is necessary in your life. You know, we can't take that you're right away from you when it comes to that. But I just want to know, do y'all feel like Bailey should have been expelled from school? Do y'all feel like the school was right? Or do you feel like the school was just being too harsh on her and that they should have just gave her a pass for that? You got to think about it. She did make the video. Now, whether she deleted it or not, the video is still on the media. Now, I don't, I haven't seen the video. I don't know where this video is, but what do y'all think? Let me know in the comment section. Until the next video.